When you run an organization as big as the North Dakota Heritage Center and State Museum, volunteers can become a vital part of keeping things running smoothly. Experienced volunteers are especially helpful. Elizabeth Shores tells us how one Bismarck woman recently hit 10,000 hours of volunteer time. Erla Spardell started volunteering at the museum in 2002. I happened to be at the information desk one day and she walked in and said, I, I need something to do. And I said, okay, what do you want to do? And it was just the beginning. Erlis's husband had passed away and she wanted to do something that could help others. The reason she chose the museum is because she wanted opportunities to learn more about its Lewis and Clark events. If you visited the museum, there's a good chance Erlis has greeted you at the front desk, or maybe you've run into her in one of the exhibits. I call it the happy place because everybody is uh, friendly, whether it's volunteers or employees. Uh, it just makes you feel good. However, her experience isn't limited to working up front. She's worked in all areas of the museum. Some days, she works on projects like this one. Right now, she's cataloging obituaries from old newspaper clippings. They're obituaries from out of state that were mailed um, to the state because the people might have been born in North Dakota or had a connection. Other days, she picks up the guest books and catalogs them downstairs. She says there's been visitors from every state in the U.S. Ohio, New York, Missouri, Florida, and Indiana. But... No matter where you go in the museum, there's likely someone around who knows Erlis. I think people should give of their time to help others through volunteering. She says she doesn't pay attention to the hours she works, but Beth Campbell does. On October 29th, Erlis hit 10,000 volunteer hours at the museum, but it's likely she's worked more than that. She doesn't count any of the time that she spends chatting with others or drinking coffee. I asked Beth how much time she thinks Erlis has contributed over the years. I couldn't even begin to get a, 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 a mark, you know, for that. Yeah, a lot more than 10,000? A lot more than 10,000. <laughs> for Erlis, volunteering is all about giving back and learning something new every day. People should know more about volunteering. And I think they should know what a great place is to volunteer. Like I said, it's a happy place. Cheers. And, of course, she enjoys the companionship. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for your news leader. Erlis might be a good volunteer, but both she and museum staff say they need more help.